First question is from George Sammy Lambro. Can you combine body weight and weightlifting workouts? Yeah, absolutely. It's all resistance training. You know, the the typically exercises done with weights uh, or machines or what are known as open chain exercises, meaning you're moving the limb and the body is stationary, right? So a bench press would be open chain. Closed chain would be a push-up, right? Because I'm moving my body away from my hands in a push-up. And they both have their benefits. These body weight movements give you really good, obviously, body control, body awareness, and a type of strength that translates really, really well to the real world. You know, free weight strength, machine strength, that also translates to the real world, but typically not in the same uh, way. Now, let's think of some of the best free weight exercises that you could do, right? A barbell squat. A barbell squat is actually a closed chain. It's a loaded uh, body weight exercise because if you take the bar off your back, you're just doing standing squats. Uh, Pull-ups, another great exercise, right? Dips, another great exercise. So yeah, it's all resistance training. You can, you can even throw in bands in there and other – anything that provides resistance so long as it's done in a way to build muscle can be put in – a routine. So we we wrote programs that kind of separate this, right? Maps Anywhere is like a full body weight type of a program. There's bands involved, but mostly body weight. And then like when you look at Maps Anabolic, it's traditionally all, you know, basic resistance training program. But the truth is most of my lifting career, um, I would I actually blended these. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and a, a lot of it just had to do with like how I felt. Like I always felt like, uh, doing body weight exercises was good. If I kind of like pushed it too far with weights, like the, the previous day, or let's say I'm in a hotel and I'm limited to the, the equipment that they have. And so I kind of would, u- I would on the fly, very similar to how I intermittently use hit style training. It's just, I think it's another tool in your tool belt. And I think there's nothing wrong with combining it with half your exercises or traditional weight training. And then the other half is body weight. Or if you're doing supersets, I used to love to do like, you know, a dumbbell or barbell exercise and then go to a body weight exercise right after that. I love doing stuff like that. Like I do like a, a, a close grip bench press or skull crushers with barbells or dumbbell and then go right down on the ground and do, yeah. you know, close grip push ups, you know, and keep your elbows real tight for your triceps. Like, I love doing stuff like that. And a lot of my training, I think, has always looked at that, even though we didn't write a lot of the programs that way. Cause I think when we wrote programs, we were always thinking of not only one of the best ways to program, but also for teaching purposes. Like, so we would separate a lot of those things. But this is also what we encourage people that have gone through most of our programs is there's nothing that says you can't intertwine a lot of the the different uh, philosophies in each one of them and and do it that way. You don't have to yeah. follow it to a T every time. Same. I, oh, I used to love combining them for supersets. But I just like – what I like about bodyweight training is it just keeps you connected to your body. Like a lot of times we get outside of our body. Totally. Um, and don't realize it. And we're just sort of like going through the, the motions and we're, you know, utilizing momentum and, um, you know, we're not really being as intentional as possible. And, and body weight training like exposes a lot of that. Uh, and, and it is a little more challenging because you have to get creative sometimes to make them more difficult, uh, you, you know, in terms of like um, using angles and gravitational forces and, and such. Um, but, uh, yeah, so if, if, in terms of like adding more stress and load, you know, weights are superior for that. But in terms of, uh, being reconnected to your body and being able to brace and, and, and protect your joints and, you know, there's just so much value in body weight training that you need to keep that within your programming as much as possible. Yeah. Well, well look, let's compare two exercises that are similar in terms of the motion, but one being body weight, one being uh, not body weight, right? So compare, for example, a pull-up to a lat pull-down. It's the same, similar, I should say, biomechanics, but let me tell you, you get really strong on a pull-up, it feels very different than when you get really strong on a lat pull-down. Think of another combination uh, or or comparison, right? Overhead press or handstand push-ups, right? They both have their value, but they both feel very, very different. Like you get really good at handstand push-ups, you have a whole different level of control and stability and athleticism. And I'll venture to say that probably the most athletic, resistance-trained athletes that you'll find, when I say athletic, I mean just general athleticism can do a lot of different things and display strength in a lot of different ways, has to be gymnasts, have to be near the top. And gymnasts 
do use some weights, but mostly what they do is heavy resistance training, body weight based exercises. And I've worked out with gymnasts. I've had gymnasts that have worked for me. I've trained gymnasts and you bring them in the gym and you teach them a barbell or dumbbell exercise. They get good at it real fast and they get, they're strong, like right out the gates. It's very, now they're not as strong as a power lifter or, but the strength that they display for their body weight is just remarkable. So it's tremendous value and body weight exercises. And yeah, throw them in your 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 workouts. Mix them up, absolutely. 